So in recent videos, we've been focusing on the current that resistors let through. And we also took a quick look at the voltage drop of the LED. So we have here about 1.8 volts, close to 2 volts drop across the LED, 5 volt power supply. We expect about 3 volts across the resistor. Of course, it's going to be a little bit more right now because there's a little less voltage drop across the LED than uh, 2 volts. So if we had a lower value resistor, more current would be flowing, the LED would be blocking a little more voltage. But in any case, this video, we are not really all that concerned with current. In this video, we are going to focus on voltage dividers. And a lot of times you use a trim pot as a voltage divider. But the main thing is that we have here at the rails, 5 volts, doesn't matter if I measure there or if I measure there, it's 5 volts at the rail. Now we're going to take two resistors, these are 1 kilo ohm resistors, and one's going to the positive rail there, it's connecting to the other resistor there, and that resistor is going to the negative rail. So now we're going to look at the voltage in relationship to ground, but we have two resistors that are equal value so halfway we have 2.5 volts now voltage dividers that voltage that we get out of there usually goes to part of a circuit that doesn't need any current it just looks or very little current it mostly looks at the voltage there and responds in some way and uh, so if you haven't encountered circuits like that you will later so now we will move this here. So you don't really design circuits. You look at new circuits and you'll come across ones that use voltage dividers. So now we're going to put three resistors in series. And uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Make it a little easier to look. So these two are connected right there. And then these two are connected right there. But still, we come to the rail. So now in relationship to ground there. If we connect to this point, you can see we have about two-thirds of the power supply voltage of 5 volts. And that is because two-thirds of the resistance is on this side of the voltage divider. And uh, now we jump over here, and you can see it is about one-third of the voltage of the uh, power supply right there in relationship to ground there. So that's why we have a ground our zero volt reference point we can keep track of voltages in relationship to ground because ultimately when we design our circuits we design it as if there's conventional current going from positive to negative so this is where our circuits end all of our circuits at the zero volt reference point or ground so there you can see we have one third and this is how the 555 timer measures voltages at uh, a couple of its pins. So pin number two is looking for lower than one third of the power supply voltage. Well pin number six is looking for higher than two thirds of the power supply voltage. There's three resistive areas inside the integrated circuit that go from positive to negative and so it taps into that. So now of course there are a number of ways to vary the voltage so we're going to bring back the light dependent resistor. So I used this in the last couple of videos, but pretty simple. Its resistance changes based on how much light is falling on it. So I'm going to get this a little brighter there. And yeah, that was my brightest setting. So for this lamp, which isn't terribly bright, but there you can see we have about uh, 2.3 volts there. So this is a 1 kilo ohm resistor. That's probably pretty close to 1 kilo ohm. Now we're going to make it darker here. And now you can see we just have a small fraction of the voltage there. That's because there's a massive amount of resistance here in relationship to the resistor. If I cover with my finger, the resistance goes way up. We have hardly any voltage there. And uh, so I showed in my last video how we can put a resistor in parallel to set our lowest amount of resistance 
and uh, or our highest amount of resistance I should say so in any case there you go we have an adjustable voltage divider with the uh, light dependent resistor but that's not the common one that's one way you can do it the common way to have a variable voltage divider is with a potentiometer so this is a variable resistor we could pluck one of these jumpers away from here so that uh, we could go from the negative rail there we can adjust how much resistance we have from that one rail or from that rail by how far the wiper is from where the jumper is connected or the way we have it now is as a voltage divider we have both of them connected so again we're gonna measure the voltage in relationship to ground it's about halfway and we are close to 2.5 volts right there and we can adjust this manually to any level we want and so I bet that's about two-thirds of the uh, power supply voltage okay more than that even so and we can go the other way we can go all the way down so we'll have about zero there and go up just a little bit and about uh, 0.8 volts there so that's uh, what the voltage divider is it's a certain amount of resistance towards the negative rail and a certain amount of resistance towards the positive rail or some other voltage point but the main thing is when you see one resistor either fixed or variable going right to another resistor which is going to a lower voltage point and something tapped at that point whatever's tapped at that point is probably looking at its voltage and ideally it doesn't take any current because the more current that it draws the closer it pulls the voltage towards the uh, negative rail if that's ultimately where it's going if it's coming from the positive rail it will provide a higher voltage at uh, that point so that's more advanced topics for later but in any case you don't really design circuits for the most part yourself around this you'll come across circuits that use voltage dividers and you'll learn how that voltage divider is working in that circuit so right now just be aware a couple of resistive elements across a voltage and you tap in between there you get a fraction of their voltage so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video